Well, you may be aware that this is the last week of the school summer holidays and term begins next week. It's not only the beginning of a new term, it's also the beginning of a new academic year. Many children will be going back to school after more than five months at home and there are bound to be challenges ahead. Please do pray for children, for teachers, for school governors, for support staff in the days and weeks to come. Well, September marks a new beginning for us at All Saints too, as our church building becomes fully open for worship again. From the 1st of September, all our services will be open again, including the 8 o'clock communion on Sunday mornings, the 10 o'clock service on Sundays, and also our 4 o'clock tea time church, which has quickly become a fixture. If you're fit and well and it's safe for you to do so, it will be lovely to see you in church again. Well, one other new be beginning that I'd like to mention today is the Pilgrim course. Many of you will know that we launched this course back in July, beginning with a six week introduction to the Christian faith. And I was amazed at the numbers of people signing up, some 25 of us all together. And it was a wonderful time of learning, of discussion and of prayer. We ran the Pilgrim course via Zoom and once we got the technicalities ironed out, it provided a useful platform for meeting together. The course itself involved some teaching, some Bible reading, some prayers and plenty of time for conversation and discussion. Zoom, you may know, allows for breakout groups, uh, which meant we were able to break into small groups for the discussion part of the evening. And that meant we were able to get to know a small group of people really quite well and to be honest and open in our conversations. I found myself enriched by the quality and depth of insight that people offered. And so by popular demand, we're moving on to part two of the course. Well, many of us have known the Lord's Prayer since we were children. And there's a danger that we simply rattle it off on Sundays without really thinking about it. But in fact, it's a profound guide to the heart of prayer. And so during part two of the Pilgrim course, we'll be studying the Lord's Prayer in some depth and detail. And I'd enjoy, I would encourage you to join in if you possibly can. One or two people have asked, well, do I need to have done part one of the course in order to sign up for part two? And the answer is no. Each of the eight parts of the Pilgrim course stand alone and you can do any part on its own. Each course is six weeks long. And for this part two, we'll be meeting on Wednesday evenings again from 7.30 through to 8.45 p.m. If you've never used Zoom before, that's not a problem. There are people at All Saints uh, who can help you get started with, with that and also learn how to make the most of it. It's a really useful life skill these days and uh, Pilgrim offers you the opportunity of getting to grips with it as well. So do give Pilgrim course some thought and let Trish know in the next day or two if you'd like to join. There's a course book which you'll need to buy over the internet and Trish will be able to give you details about how to purchase that as well. And I pray that as we study and read and learn and pray together, that we'll know the Lord's blessing in our lives in new and deeper and in life enriching ways.